So, when I was sitting down thinking about this and how could I present this to you guys, I, I, I was reading over some things and I came up with six characteristics of enthusiastic people. Alright, so if any of you guys want to take notes, this is a good time. You can jot a few things down. The first thing I thought of was thankful. Enthusiastic people are thankful. They're thankful for opportunities. They're thankful for people. They're, in general, they are going to be a thankful person. I heard somebody say the other day, I can't think, I'm trying to think of who I was talking to when they said this, but they said, you know, when you think about being thankful, he said, the way I like to think about it is, if I woke up and everything that I had said I was thankful for the day before was all that I had left, how much would I have the next day? And I thought, whoa, maybe I need to express my gratitude and thankfulness a little bit more, you know? But how, that's a good way to think about it. How often do you show appreciation for the things that you actually do have? We like to focus on the things we don't have so much, but there's so much that we do have. Enthusiastic people are resilient. And I put this slide together, and on the way out here, I was slipping through the channels, and none other than Chamba Wamba came on, talking about, I get knocked down, but I get up again. So I'm sorry if now you have that in your head because it's in my head. But that's, I was like, hey, I'm, talking, I'm meant to be talking about resiliency. Too bad I don't have the Chamba Wamba on CD. I would put it in there for you. But that's what resiliency is, is things are going to happen. You're going to get knocked down, but you've you got to get back up. You gotta be resilient. That's what enthusiastic people do. They don't, things can happen, they know that, but they've got something in mind. They've got a vision. They know where they're gonna go. They're long term thinkers, right? Success is, success is a process and not an event. Just like I talked about with the excitement. We have so many things that we get excited about, you know, an event. And so many people like to think of, you know, for me, success is a word that gets thrown around a lot. But so many people think about successful people and, oh, they, you know, I'll be successful when I get here. Or I'll be successful if I get to this point. But it's really, it's the process of getting there is what makes you successful. It's a journey. It's being long-term thinking. This is one that I personally really like. Always learning. Enthusiastic people are always learning. It's why people come out to events like this. Because... You want to learn. You're always looking for ways that you can maybe gain an advantage, or how can I better myself? How can I learn? Um, uh, the book, I want to say it's called, it was the book, The Slide Edge. They talked about applied versus learned knowledge. And we can learn so much, but until we go out and apply that knowledge, it doesn't have practical meaning. But then once we go out and apply knowledge, and then we go back and learn more, we can hear the same information, and it's going to be different because we've gone out and applied what we've learned. And so that's why even coming out to events like this, and you know, some people, they may say, oh, I've probably heard that message a thousand times. But you haven't been through everything that you just went through yesterday or the week before. And when you hear that message this time, maybe it means something different, or maybe you actually get something out of it. And so enthusiastic people are always learning. They're talking to people. What, what can they gain? They have vision. They're able to picture what they desire. And this is something, um, I actually was sitting down talking to this group that, you know, I, in my mind, I think all of us, you know, whether, whether we agree where, how the program is being operated right now, and I don't want to get into all the specifics about where we are, but I think all of us would agree that we have a vision of having healthy, nutritious kids, and that's why we do what we do, you know? It may, we may not always agree about how we're getting there or what we want, but that's what, that's what our vision is. We want a healthy future. We want our kids to live long, healthy lives. And I, talk, I said this earlier, enthusiastic people are good finders. You know, there, a lot of people call it you know, the glass half full people. There's always good to be found in every situation. Um, I'll give you a, a prime example of just today. I uh, was going to be coming here to Kansas City. I live in Jeff City, or I live in Columbia. I drive to Jeff City every day for work, so I was going to have to come back through Columbia to get back over here to Kansas City. And sure enough, I drove all the way to Jeff City, and my computer wasn't working, so I had to leave because I couldn't get anything done at the office and go to the coffee shop. Well. As I, when I walked into the Panera Bread, I ended up seeing an old buddy that I hadn't seen in quite some time. And so what felt like an awful situation, because I couldn't get my stuff done there, it actually 
put me in contact with somebody that I haven't seen in many years. So there was good to be had in that situation, and I still ended up getting my work done. But so many times we get so frustrated about what went wrong that you know we couldn't even see that something good came out of that. So every situation, even when it, even when it doesn't feel like it, you can look back later and find that there probably was some good in each of the situations. So. A lot of people may say, okay, well, so that's what enthusiastic people are like, but what if I'm not quite enthusiastic? Well, I put, a few, put together a few more bullet points about maybe six ways that you can get some enthusiasm back, all right?